partially based on the, our joint uh, lecture given at the conference in Wisconsin, Romania last year. <coughs>
really uh, in some adelic approach we get square picture of space time uh, related maybe to this uh, picture coming from a completely different point of view by the mapping of Q7 and other models with concrete uh, values of prime numbers. So starting with the with the mechanic, uh, quantum mechanics and, and in fact mechanic string theory, people ask uh, what is the relation with uh, this exotic theory and the real one? But it's not the first question uh, mentioned to that point. Even mathematicians asked in, in <coughs> the beginning of the 20th century what is the relation between chaotic numbers and, and uh, real numbers. Then Chevalier was able to suggest an analytic approach. Uh, this approach is really very interesting, but from other point it's very complicated and it's very difficult to get results in this approach. And this time uh, it's not in the main, main topic of our uh, talk, so just I would mention that to have a good defined theory we need to have schwarz dual function and the, the, this space of schwarz dual function is necessary to have characteristic function in this way and in, the point is that from physical point of view it's a backlog for the adelic quantum, adelic quantum theory. Why adelic quantum theory? It's with the scale space time on Planck scale and in formulate a fundamental theory independent of parameterization of number three. It's very interesting result of Tashvili also of Sen, Bouchard and other authors. But always we have some new parameter there and we, we have some transition for, for di different values of this parameter. The idea uh, of uh, Witten, Freund and Breke is that the theory <coughs> should be independent of the parameterization. It should be well defined of real and Numbers. So, after uh, a few excellent and very interesting results based on the adelic uh, string theory, but with this restriction that for n point function with n bigger than 5, this adelic formula failed, uh, at, the eight, at the end of the 80s and beginning of 90s, people uh, come to the idea to, to develop mechanic uh, and the quantum mechanics to have a better understanding of what is real picture and how to connect with some experience and with some uh, results that we adopt in the, our, uh, physical, our physical education. The point is that standardization is not possible in the Arctic and the case, just we must go to wave quantization and use uh, Feynman part integrals and instead of Hamiltonian, we define operator of evolution to this kernel and we, uh, our group spend a lot of time to develop some uh, particular techniques and uh, for simple models we were able to properly that. Uh, beside our interest in adelic quantum mechanics, partially in, in string theory and Q, uh, Q deformation, uh, it was found that uh, quantum cosmology is a good area for testing uh, uh, possible uh, possible implication of the other stuff. So the main task of quantum cosmology is to describe the early, early stage of the evolution of the universe and because we believe that periodic numbers and uh, ultramatic spaces should be very important on the early phase and uh, on the Planck scale. We are interested in the very early stage of the universe, the baby, baby universe. The point is that here we regard space time coordinates, gravitational and matter fields to be adapted. They have real as well as periodic properties simultaneously. Uh, there are a few authors they insist on this approach. Mainly it's mathematicians like Manin and Dayan, but also there are some physicists who deeply believe in this approach. So, uh, that we could uh, 
uh, calculate something, we come to the deterministic space quantum cosmology in the beginning based on the Hawking approach, and after that it was more application of, of quantum mechanics. In this approach, quantitative approach, uh, the starting point is famous path integral, and this is the amplitude of evolution of the uh, universe with some starting matrix uh, matters and uh, hypersurface uh, hyper to another one, and this transition amplitude is given by this integral. Uh, if we discuss about 3 plus 1 uh, dimension, then the standard metric can be done with this uh, form and the added complex value uh, cosmologic amplitude is given here by this, by this formula. Well, we come to the concrete <coughs> model, uh, we find an interesting and very important model. Uh, this model is especially important for us because it's at, uh, exactly so. Uh, here we start with 4 plus p dimension of Kalut's applying cosmology model with the robertson property metric. And this model is describing an accelerating universe with dynamic amplification of active dimensions. Here is the energy momentum tensor, and we will put here that it's pressureless model. Energy momentum tensor is here and here, and our constant <coughs> field of action is uh, given in this form with this Lagrangian where we put some special value for uh, lambda factor but uh, I cannot here see the problems in the, in the next transparency. So we have here two continuity equation the in fact this is continuity equation for the closet universe and here is energy density for this model. Well, as I said, if we define lambda factor in this way, then the gradient would be, would be written in this modest form for the uh, future calculation. And we hear here the scale of uh, um, four dimensions R can be, can be related to the cosmological constant in this way. If we take here some concrete value of the parameter, we will uh, get a uh, rather simple Lagrangian, and uh, we have here very simple classical solutions. But we can see here, here it's a different solutions for the extra dimensions and for the ordinary dimensions. If we take that at the beginning, uh, radia of uh, standard uh, part of uh, four space-time dimensions, as the dimensions is equal to the time plane, then we can describe the developing of the uh, radius scale of the four dimensions of the extra dimensions in this way. So for uh, D is equal to 1, we will see that we will have accelerating universe in this part of the uh, four dimensions, and for the extra dimensions we have contracted internal, internal space. So I will uh, so I'll jump some details here. I think it's not important. And also, how many minutes? Okay. Okay. So the point here is that in standard case, we are still in the standard case. We can use Wiener Davidian equation, but it's not possible in the chaotic approach because no standard. Uh, derivation uh, for the complex value function with the uh, periodic variables, but here we can find solutions for the uh, wave function of the universe uh, described by x and uh, y dimensions. There are some exchange that we could solve solve uh, with a David equation. Anyhow, this is four possible solutions for this four plus d dimensional Kaluza Klein models with uh, this uh, exotic solution. This is the standard solution. Uh, this is based on the papers of Rutka and Dutta. 
Well, in, in the other case, we will start again with this Lagrangian, but now we, uh, we will take that this variables x and y here is the other one. We have these solutions, it's a similar in the form with the real one, but here there are a lot of interesting solutions that uh, we will probably discuss in, in, the, in the future period, namely differences of the ordinary differential equation in real. In the other case, it's that there, is, there are so-called pseudo-constant solutions and they are still not uh, very uh, well understood and uh, described. Anyhow, classical action <coughs> corresponding to, to, this, to this solution or the regression equation here can be written in this form and then we can immediately calculate kernel of the operator on the basis of our formula the list of frequencies we given at the end. So we are able now to write kernel of the operator evolution and we can describe evolution of this quantum model. Uh, again, we have some mathematical exchange and it's uh, relatively simple. So we can write now again kernel of operator in the starting point. So we can describe how uh, universe develop from the starting point some another point with uh, concrete uh, value of the last function. And here again we have this number of extra dimensions what is the crucial point for uh, our interest and for this this form. So the point is that we don't know how many extra dimensions are. Uh, it was very uh, interesting part of the, the talk of uh, Professor Stoikovic that if d is equal to 1, we should know. Uh, but if d is 2, 3 or so, or we are still not able to find that probably LHC could, could help us. So now the hypothesis is that either our space and our universe is a delic one, or maybe this extra dimension is with ultrametric uh, nature, and maybe we can with such models, exactly so called test how many these extra dimensions could be. How we can discuss about that? So the point is that it's necessary to have this theory is to have ground state, bottom state for the wave function of the new, new, new mini super space model. For the mini super space model, the simplest solution of the wave function or the wave equation in the wave function is this product of omega function of the, this characteristic function that I mentioned at the beginning of my talk. And here we have two crucial conditions. So this model is possible and we have a vacuous state if last function is less or equal in respect to the other norm of these two form related to the number of extra dimensions. Also, in this way, we can write finally form of the ground state of this theatric model. So, we don't have a final answer, final uh, decision uh, about the dimensionality of this. It will be, uh, it will be published <coughs> after the, the final financial uh, report of this conference. Yeah, this compilation uh, is very, <laughs> it's very complicated. Anyhow, uh, uh, we find that d must be uh, bigger than 1, and uh, it depends of p. For different p, we have different solutions. Our aim is to find <coughs> this result for any p, because it will be the confirmation of the, of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, of the delicate approach. So, concerning um, propagator and correlating function, here I can show some of the results <coughs> that can be related to the uh, free particle, and the free particle can be related to some cosmological uh, models, and it's also, um, it's also possible, like uh, which is mentioned, the other theory is uh, advantage that it can relatively simply solve this uh, propagator and this function. Here is a, 
uh, with the preferences related to the path integrals method, to the cosmology or ontiadic and ontiadic models, and this uh, attempt to discuss uh, extra dimensions and the ultramatic uh, aspect of extra dimensions in ontiadic model. So this is a short review of our talk, and I beg your pardon that I was not able to give you precise results about dimensionality of that 